So are lasers the only way to treat pigmentation? Truthfully, it's not. Uh, in fact, lasers are just part of our armory in our fight against pigmentation. I would say whenever we approach pigmentation, it's important to start from the basics first. And of course, the basics would often include good skincare, topical skincare. We want to get our basics right. In a patient who has pigmentation, of course, we would want to have good skincare such as good sunscreen, sun protection, often a broad spectrum sunscreen between SPF 30 to 50. And of course, we have also things like topical antioxidants such as vitamin C and some lightening products. It can be over the counter, it could be medical grade. So this is a good place to start. Most of the time, patients come to see us often after they have tried optimizing their skincare. And of course, in patients who haven't optimized their skincare, this is usually the first step that we take. Lasers often come in second. That's because usually a lot of the topical products, even lightening creams, strong lightening creams, often just slow down production or slow down the progression of pigments. The existing pigments that you've already produced and accumulated on the skin often can be quite difficult to lighten with topical products. And that's where lasers might come in next because lasers work by helping to break up pigmentation into smaller fragments such that your body is better able to deal or metabolize the pigments. Some lasers that we use also help to target secondary factors such as hypervascularity of the skin, excessive blood vessels that are under the skin. This is something that we see often in patients with melasma. There are other lasers that we use as well such as resurfacing lasers. These allow us to produce a little bit of a gentle laser peel that gets the skin to renew a little bit faster and hence removing pigmentation a little bit faster. Beyond lasers, there are also other newer modalities that we use to help to improve pigmentary concerns. And this is in line with the fact that we are more and more cognizant of the fact that a lot of chronic skin conditions manifest as pigmentary disorders. And the most classic case is melasma. So there are secondary treatments that we use these days to help with pigmentary conditions. And these include treatments such as pulse radiofrequency microneedling, which helps to reduce hypervascularity, helps to reduce inflammation in the skin and helps to regenerate generate the disruption in the basement membrane associated with pigmentary disorders. There are also other treatments that might be useful in helping to improve pigmentary conditions by improving the skin quality. And these include treatments even such as skin boosters or even polynucleotide injections. But these are of course adjuvant treatments. In short, lasers are not the only treatments that we use for pigmentation, much as a lot of marketing out there might have you believe. So if you have a, a pigmentary disorder that has been difficult to manage with your top skincare, I would be happy to assist.